Hello and welcome to this MindFusion Diagramming for ASP.NET video. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the user interaction capabilities supported by the diagram tool. We will use the flowcharter sample, which is available for download from our website. The sample project starts with a simple flowchart generated on server side. In the top left corner, you can see the overview control. It shows a scaled down image of the whole diagram and draw a rectangular frame around the part of the diagram that's currently shown in diagram view control. The overview is particularly useful if you are rendering a large diagram and only a fraction of it fits on the page. Seeing the whole diagram in the overview area allows users to identify which region of the diagram is currently on screen and lets them navigate to other locations by clicking on the overview. Now, let's move on to one of the basic operations in an interactive flowchart. Creating a new node. We switch to the link shapes diagram behavior from the toolbox and create a new node by simply drawing with the mouse at the appropriate location. Note how smooth the drawing process is. The diagram view control gives immediate feedback after each move event, rendering the new node as it would look if drawn at current mouse or touch location. Now, let's enter some text. Double click on a node and start typing. Click outside the node when ready. We can play a little with the text alignment styles. The component supports the full range of options. Any combination of vertical and horizontal text alignments within a diagram node is possible. Let's create a second node, a table node. Again, it is created on the spot, following the user's mouse movements. Let's type in some text. The table supports a caption header and unlimited number of cells. In our case, we have one row. Let's select and resize a node. Drag any of the modification handles drawn around the node. Again, you can see the node redraws immediately to show its new size. Of course, we would like to link the newly created nodes. The flowcharter sample has link auto-routing turned on, and as you can see, links make stylish curves around the nodes, searching for the optimal path to cross as few other links as possible, and never to cross a node. When we move a node, its links move along staying connected, and searching automatically for new paths to give the diagram the best look. Now, let's assume the right part of the diagram is too overcrowded for our taste. These are quite a few nodes there. Let's say we want to move them further on. Nothing easier with a multiple selection feature. Just hold the control key and drag the mouse above all nodes we want to select. Now we can move them all. Again, the diagram view gives you immediate feedback, showing new node position while dragging the selection. Now that we have a larger diagram, we would like to zoom out a little. We use the appropriate tool from the toolbar. A few mouse clicks and we can see the whole diagram. Well, that's too small. Let's fit it to the window. Again, that's done on the moment with a single mouse click. The last thing I would like to show you is how easy you can move a link from one node to the other. Let's select this link. Hmm, we don't like it here anymore. Let's move it to the table node. Let's do the same with this one here. Again, a very smooth redraw, following the immediate movements of the mouse. With this, our demonstration is over. If you'd like to learn about the many great features that you can add to your ASP.NET software with MindFusion.Diagramming for WebForms component, you can visit mindfusioneu netdiagramhtml Thank you for watching!